so welcome to another vlog and today's topic is thrombotic thrombocytopenic purpura but before going on to today's topic let me remind you that if you are new to this channel then don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to hit the all notification button and if you find this video helpful then don't forget to give us a like now coming to today's topic today's topic is thrombotic thrombocytopenic purpura before going into details let's understand the process of platelet plaque formation and coagulation now the platelets as we know it is an important component of our blood and it primarily deals with the process of blood plaque formation and coagulation so by these two process it actually stops bleeding whenever there is a cut or there is any injury in any blood vessels then the platelets are activated initially the platelets are present within blood in small round structures and these platelets they usually contain various granules and these granules are important for platelet activation and for normal functioning of platelet now whenever there is a cut or there is an injury in the blood vessels these platelets they gets activated now they transform into a structure like this with small spikes all over the surface so the inactive platelet which is roundish in structure that transforms into a spiky structure whenever it is activated and it enhances the process of adhesion and aggregation now after that the platelet that comes here in the injured place and they usually stuck with the endothelium underneath okay and by this uh, this process is known as adhesion then another layer of platelets are deposited then another layer of platelets are deposited so the platelets initially bind to the endothelium then they bind with each each other so the process of binding of platelet with the endothelium that is known as adhesion and the process of binding one platelet with another this process is known as aggregation now these are two very essential process for the blood uh, platelet plaque formation and coagulation so let's coming to the next slide so what happens in case of platelet plaque formation initially what happens initially the platelets as i told that it is activated so there is uh, uh, appearance of some spikes over the surface it will enhance the process of adhesion as well as aggregation and it will also release some contents okay and one of the content that is von willebrand factor it is very important factor for platelet adhesion these von willebrand factor these are stored in the alpha granules of platelet also these von willebrand factor they are also stored in the endothelium as wavell pallet bodies so this can be released from the platelet as well as from the endothelium and this von willebrand factor it actually works as a glue to uh make the platelet attached with the endothelium so the von willebrand factor acts as a glue to attach the platelet with the endothelium now these von willebrand factors which are released initially they are multi they are in multimeric form that means they can aggregate a lot lot of platelets at the same time but this is not required for normal coagulation only the small monomeric forms or the smaller molecules of the von willebrand factors they are essential so for this process the platelet 
is usually the von Willebrand factor is broken down into the smaller pieces and these are helpful for platelet adhesion. Now here comes the enzyme that is adamtas 13. Now adamtas 13 is that enzyme which actually cleaves the larger von Willebrand factors into smaller ones. So the adamtas 13 this is one metalloproteinase enzyme which actually cleaves the larger von Willebrand factors into smaller ones which are essential for normal coagulation process. So the adamtas 13 is it it is an essential enzyme. So if the von Willebrand factors are in smaller multimer uh, smaller forms then the process is absolutely normal so there is adequate amount of blood clot formation that is essential to stop the bleeding but what happens if these enzymes is not present or it's been destroyed within your body then there is presence of large multimeric forms within blood and this large multimeric forms will uh, bring a lot of platelet to form larger clots within the blood vessels and when these uh, clots are present within larger blood vessels there are usually no problems but when these clots they traverse to smaller blood vessels then they can easily occlude the lumen of small smaller blood vessels and that will cause a lot of problem this is what happens in TTP. So, in case of TTP, there is absence of ADAMTS13 enzyme. So, there is no breakage of the abnormal large multimeric forms of von Willebrand factor, and these large von Willebrand factors will cause a lot of platelet to aggregate to form a larger thrombus. These thrombus will occlude the smaller vessels in vital organs and that can cause the manifestations of this disease. So, if it occludes the blood vessels within brain within renal parenchyma, sorry, if it occludes the blood vessels within renal parenchyma so there is renal involvement that leads to renal failure if that blood vessels occur small vessels within brain or any nervous system structure then there is neurological dysfunctions as there is small small thrombus formation within the blood vessels so there is turbulence in blood flow that will cause breakdown of rbc's so it will lead to hemolytic anemia and due to excessive thrombus formation due to excessive uncontrolled thrombus formation in various vessels so all the platelets they are usually used up in this process of thrombus formation so this will lead to thrombocytopenia okay so first there are uncontrolled thrombus formation within body this will lead to obstruction in the flow of blood this will cause breakdown of rbc's can lead to hemolytic anemia also there is excessive use of the platelets in forming platelet plugs so there is thrombocytopenia there is relative less number of platelets circulating platelets within the blood and due to thrombus formation in various vital structures like renal cells or in CNS uh, structures or organs there is various organ dysfunction so the painted of TTP and also there is release of some substances like cytokines or inflammatory mediators there is presence of fever so the painted of thrombotic thrombocytopenic purpura is fever hemolytic anemia thrombocytopenia along with renal and neurological dysfunctions now you have to tell me what are the treatment options and what is the 
ट्रीटमेंट ऑफ चॉइस ऑफ टी टी पी नाउ यू कमेंट बिलो वॉट विल बी योर आंसर इन द कमेंट सेक्शन एंड ऑल्सो शेयर योर ओपिनियन how the video is and if there is any chance to improve so if you are new to this channel don't forget to subscribe and also don't forget to hit the all notification buttons to get all our notification instantly and if you find this video helpful don't forget to give us a like you can share this video in different social media platforms till then take care